Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall write, interpret, and explain statement of order for rational numbers in real life context. Let Mary and Sandra distribute sweets among themselves, and Mary and Sandra both get half of the sweets. Can we say anything about the amount of share? We can say that they both received equal amount of sweets because Larry got half of the sweets, that is one by two, which is equal to zero point five, and Sandra got. Half of the sweets, that is also one by two, which is equal to zero point five. So we can say that the fraction is same, but if Larry gets one third of the sweets and Sandra gets two third of the sweets, now what can we say about their share? For this, we shall compare and order the fractions with the help of number line. Since we have three in the denominator, so we divide unit in three parts on the number line. And we have zero by three, one by three, two by three. And three by three, zero by three is zero. Then one by three, two by three, and three by three is one. And now we plot one by three and two by three on the number line. Now we see that two by three is on the right side of one by three. So, two by three is greater than one by three, and we write two by three is greater than one by three. So, we can interpret that Sandra has more sweets than Larry. Let us consider an example. Thirty out of thirty-six girls and thirty-four out of forty boys went on an educational trip. We want to find whose greater fraction went on the trip. Here. Fraction of girls is thirty by thirty-six, and fraction of boys is thirty-four by forty. And we can find the greater fraction with the help of a number line. Whenever we have different and large values in denominator, it is always convenient to convert the fraction into a decimal number. So, 30 by 36 will be equal to 5 by 6. Now we divide five by six. Since five is smaller than six, so we put a decimal in quotient and annex zeros. And now we have six into eight is forty-eight, and we get the remainder as two. Now two is smaller than six, so we annex one more zero, and we get twenty. And now, 
6 into 3 is 18 and again we get the remainder as 2. So we annex one more 0 and we get 20. Now 6 into 3 is 18 and we get 2 as remainder. It means we are having a repetition of 2 so the division is endless and thus the digit 3 in quotient repeats. So it is a non-terminating decimal and we write 5 by 6 as 0 0.8333 and so on which can also be written as 0 0.83 bar and therefore we get the fraction 30 by 36 is equal to 0 0.83 bar and 34 upon 30 can be written as 17 by 20 which in division gets 0 0.85. The decimal are expressed in tens, so we divide the number line between 0 0.80 and 0 0.90 in 10 parts. Now, 0 0.83 bar will be equal to 0 0.833. 3, 3 and so on and this will lie in between 0 0.83 and 0 0.84 and this is slightly greater than 0 0.83 so we plot it here and we also put point at 0 0.85 from the number line we see that 0 0.85 is to the right of 0 0.83 bar. So we can say that 0 0.85 is greater than 0 0.83 bar. Thus we conclude that the greater fraction of boys went to the trip. Thus, with the help of ordering the rational numbers, we can predict and draw conclusions. Let us consider one more example. The following table shows the attendance of the school carnival, which grade has the greatest and least fraction of attendance. For grade 5, the attendance is 5 upon 8, for grade 6 it's 0 0.5 and for grade 7 it's 583 upon 1000. First of all, we shall write these fractions in decimal form and then we shall plot these points on the number line. So, 5 by 8 can be written as 0 0.625. When 5 is divided by 8, we get 0 0.625 and 583 by 1000 can be written as 0.583. In grade 5 and 7, we have 3 decimal places and for grade 6, it's 0 0.5 since putting as many zeros after decimal does not make any difference so we can write 0 0.5 as 0 0.500 0. now we shall plot these points on the number line now the gap between 0 0.625 and 0 0.583 is large enough so we will choose the scale of the number line accordingly here we will take difference of 0 0.025 between numbers. Let us make the number line. Now we shall plot these points on the number line. For 
for grade 5 we have the attendance as 5 upon 8 which is equal to 0.625 so we plotted here for grade 6 it's 0 0.500 and here is the point for grade 7 we have the attendance as 0 0.583 and 0 0.583 will lie in between 0 0.575 and 0 0.600 so we mark it here From the number line we can see that fraction of grade 5 students is on the right of both grade 6 and grade 7. So grade 5 has the greatest part of class participating in the carnival. Also, grade 6 is on the left of both grade 7 and grade 5. So, grade 6 has the least part of class participating in the carnival. We can also write the order from least to greatest as 0 0.500 is less than 0 0.583 is less than 0 0.625 which is equal to 0 0.5 is less than 583 upon 1000 is less than 5 by 8 or it can also be written as grade 6 is less than grade 7 and is less than grade 5 so we conclude that grade 5 has the greatest part of class participating in the carnival and grade 6 has the least part of class participating in the carnival. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.